Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rory Reed, aka Tripler999, and today we're going to discuss another issue that arose when um, I was working on the piece you see here. I started working on the piece, took about an hour, hour and a half. These are part of a quick uh, series of paintings that I'm doing in still lifes that have a particular concept where the the vase or the flower vase is empty and there is a mural on the wall behind the vase. This is just one of those quick uh, series that you come up with that I, I'm using basically just as exercise to um, work on my skills and just to, to, to stay busy uh, during this time as well. And also I sell these small pieces uh, very affordably, uh, only like 25 bucks um, for most of them and so a great way to add some variety to my uh, price points as well as make the art affordable for those who want you know less expensive pieces um, for their collections and so when I was painting this painting I spent all the time working on it it was turning out great and then towards the end I had a little bit too much of my shadow color on my brush and I did like a wash as well as touched up some of the shadows on the piece and after everything dried, it, uh, as you see in the, uh, the uh, preview, it came out a little bit too dark. And so now what I'm going to do is revisit the piece again, spend another about another hour on it. I'm going to bring back up the mid-tones and the highlights so that the piece can have an overall freshness and brightness. And we'll probably uh, uh, touch up the, uh, the uh, flower on the wall as well, just to give it a little bit of extra pop. We'll stay tuned, let's jump right in. Okay guys, so um, here you can see the uh, piece as I left it uh, from the previous session. Uh, the shadow color you see there is um, Payne's Gray right out of the tube. Uh, for this piece I didn't do any pre-mixing because uh, I wanted it to be a pretty quick piece. Instead of taking, you know, five to ten hours, I just wanted to take an hour or two max. And um, that's going from start to finish and so a lot of the colors i use just right out of the tube either brightening up the value with white or a little bit of yellow and you know darkening them down with um like a violet or Payne's gray so I mixed up some lighter values here and as you see I'm washing over everything, touching up the flower on the wall with a little bit of uh, cerulean blue right out of the tube, gave it a nice pop there and just bringing all the values back up just a notch, not too much because you know I wanted the overall um, piece to be in shadow with the exception of the two little highlights you see there like on the vase and on the the foreground floor so the main purpose of um, what I'm doing here now is just to bring uh, the value up slightly not too much to where the whole piece is you know super bright and so right now we're at a good uh, place as far as the values are concerned just gonna touch up some of the highlights here and um, yeah this piece was just super fun man uh, normally I do pre mix all of my colors values etc and then make minor adjustments as I go along so it was really refreshing and a nice change of pace to just try to come up with something the composition and everything just right off the top of the dome um, no pre-planning whatsoever just to try to exercise my skill in terms of being able to create a nice work of art from scratch and um, 
I did learn, in other words, in, in, instead of having everything pre-planned as far as lighting, composition, et cetera, et cetera, I did learn a lot um, by doing uh, the painting this way. I learned a lot of things that can go wrong, learned a lot of things that I didn't like. And um, so when I do the next one of these, I'll do a little bit of planning and use some of the stuff I learned from this one to like, for example, um, use a better uh, color palette for the highlights. Was not too sure about this one, but it turned out, you know, good enough for me. I liked where it was at, but uh, in the future, I'm definitely going to uh, spend more time planning those out and uh, just to give it a little bit touch more of a realism look. But overall, I did love this piece, love the color scheme, the red into the purple and um, with the little touches of orange, yellow, greens and blues on the uh, on the flower on the wall was uh, super dope. Really liked how this one turned out. So here's the finished piece with the midtones and highlights uh, corrected. Um, loved where it was at here. So this is where we decided to leave it. All right, guys, so there you have it, the finished piece. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you saw, we worked on the mid-tones and we worked on the highlights mainly and brought everything back up to a, uh, a more accurate, um, I would say, uh, favorable to the eye uh, level. And um, as you see, it didn't take too much. Uh, just to, That just lets you know that whenever you make a mistake in your painting, you can always go back and fix it because it's just paint. Once you know how to get your shadows, get your midtones, get your highlights, you can always make adjustments on the fly as you go along. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you could do me a huge favor, hit the like button and leave a comment below if you have anything you wish to ask me or say. And uh, until next time, take it easy. Peace.